The Defense Authorization Act uh, has basically made it through Congress. They've got agreement on it. And uh, it, what it does is it allows for indefinite detentions of uh, enemy combatants. The military gets to decide who's an enemy combatant. And it, it operates on U.S. soil and can apply to American citizens. So it's horrible. It destroys the Fifth and the Fourteenth Amendments. And uh, Posse Comitatus Act becomes uh, irrelevant. That means the military can't act within the United States. Uh, plus, it really goes to the foundation of Western law in questioning habeas corpus. And Congress, as we just told you, has agreed. But President Obama was threatening a veto. And we were at least happy that President Obama was on that side of the issue. But some people have been dissenting voices, including John Wood of Change.org, saying, no, wait a minute, the President is objecting uh, to uh, Section 1032 of this bill, not 1031, that is the portion about it applying to United States citizens on U.S. soil, etc. So you're giving him credit for the wrong things. In fact, Glenn Greenwald at Salon has also written about that and saying the President actually wants more power, not less power, and his veto threat is not something that is done to protect our civil liberties. Well, uh, those were all interesting theories until Senator Carl Levin uh, went on the floor of Congress and told us, at least based on what he's saying here, if he's telling the truth, that in fact President Obama wanted it to be the exact opposite. Not that he thought it had too much power in the bill, but that the executive should have more power. Let's let Carl Levin explain. The administration asked us to remove the language which says that U.S. citizens and lawful residents would not be subject to this section. Is the senator familiar with the fact that it was the administration that asked us to remove the very language which we had in the bill which passed the committee and that we removed it at the request of the administration that would have said the app that this determination would not apply to U.S. citizens and lawful residents? Now, Senator Levin is the guy who crafted that uh, portion of the bill. And if he's telling the truth here, he's saying President Obama came in and said, no, 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 I want to make this bill even, well, he wouldn't put it this way, I would, even worse, even more of an abuse of civil liberties by making sure that I can also indefinitely detain United States citizens. That's the worst part of the bill. If Senator Levin is right about what happened there, then President Obama is again not on the right side of this issue he's on the wrong side of the issue and that he wanted to do the veto threat so that he could have more power not less power and abuse our constitution and our civil liberties more not less well I mean that's so disappointing that I I can't take it anymore I mean I so what does that mean that I can't take it I mean you've seen me criticize President Obama over and over again it's not that I'm shy about that it's that if this is true I almost literally don't see the point of supporting President Obama anymore I'm not mincing words. I don't see the point. And somebody will have to try to figure out, you know, I guess go ahead and try to convince me, write comments, send us emails through theyoungturks.com, participate through current.com slash theyoungturks. You tell me why I'm supposed to vote for this guy. But if he really, this so-called constitutional law professor, has such little respect for our constitution that he's willing to shred it like that, well, he's, in some ways, he's worse than a Republican. Why? Now, first of all, I think Newt Gingrich is a danger to the republic, right? But is Newt Gingrich going to propose something worse than indefinitely detaining American citizens without a trial? I, I'm not sure I can think of anything worse. Is he going to propose or do something worse than kill United States citizens abroad without a trial, which is what uh, President Obama has done with drone strikes? I, I, I'm not sure I can imagine something worse. So, and then the really harmful part of President Obama is he totally gets, unfortunately, a large portion of the left to stand down. If President Bush put this bill forward, the left would have been in a rage, in a rage. Outside of our show, Countdown, people like Glenn Greenwald, and a couple of other shows, I see nothing. Mainstream media, of course, is, as always, is oblivious. They're like, what's Jerry Sandusky doing? I don't even know how many times they've even talked about this or even noted that there is some outrage behind it. And then where are the activists? Where's the left? Where are the Democrats? You know Al Franken voted for this? What the hell was the point of sending him to the Senate? Are you kidding me? They gut our Constitution like this? 
And the President Obama goes, no, 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 it's okay. I put the Democratic seal of approval on it. So everybody, shut up, stand down, and let's do exactly what the right wing wants to do and, and, and destroy our civil liberties. Well, then he's of no use that he doesn't help the country, he hurts the country. Look, man, this is an interactive show. If I got it wrong, you tell me, you, you show me. And don't, please don't come to me with weak sauce stuff about how, oh, no, 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 but you don't understand. Congress is so important. He couldn't get beyond Congress. Well, here's Senator Levin, again, if he's telling the truth, saying, no, 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 he went to Congress and said, you're not right wing enough. I need you to be far more right wing. And second of all, when Bush was in charge, Congress, he had majorities, didn't have majorities, he didn't give a damn, he got everything he wanted. Back then, the president was incredibly strong. Now you're going to get me to believe the president is incredibly weak and has to do everything the Republicans tell him to do? No, he wants to do it. That's what makes me particularly sick. Let's hope that Senator Levin is a liar. But I don't think so. It doesn't look like it at the moment being.